Welcome back to Smithy's Over 100 Courses in a Year. This is part two today, still Thursday the 14th of July. I've been out to Westray in the ferry and back, and we're now at course number 110 this year. This is Orkney Golf Club, and uh, a big thanks to Chris, who's the greenkeeper here, and Andrew, past captain, for the invite to the course. Really looking forward to this. The rain's going off. Nice sunny evening, hopefully, fingers crossed. And with Chris being the greenkeeper, there'll be no criticism of the course from me. So let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 110 of 2022. It's Orkney Golf Club on the tee. The man supporting Super Bob McIntyre in the open. Go on, Super Bob from Kirkintilloch in Scotland. Smithy! Right, here's the first at Orkney, 338 yards. Par 4 slightly rising as the ditch just up above. And we'll see what these bandits, Andy and Chris, are like in a minute. And this is a look up at the first. You see like, the, the ditch running across. A lot of humpy bumpy stuff here. It's relatively new. Nice hole. That's a look down in a second at 400 yards. And it's going to fall down to the left apparently. And when I was speaking about bandits earlier, I'd just like to say that I'm level par after chipping in at the first. Just look down at the second as you see it drops away down. That's another lovely hole. Third at Orney, we're going uphill, 316 yards. Par four, just over the bunker there, that's the flag just peeking out over the top there. It's the fourth hole, first day of par three is at Orney. 137 yards. Got the view over the harbour there, down to the right. Back to the hole. Fifth hole at Orney, 260 yards. But as in Shetland and Orkney, we're right into the wind. So it's over the crest and we'll see what happens after that. Right, this is the green at the fifth hole. And uh, Chris and Andy are playing, but the smithy ball is the one furthest away. But that's in two, that's for a birdie, it's on the dance floor. Look down the sixth at Orkney. Uh, 302 yards, it's stroke index one. There's a burn going through the front and it's actually called the burn. For anybody watching in England, a burn is actually a burn. This is the seventh hole, par three up the hill, but I'm not complaining because you can see the hole of the green. It's a really nice hole actually, bunkers sitting there guarding it there. A wee bit far for me though. Eighth hole only, we're going up the hill, par four, about 250. We've got the wind sort of back and across the way. I looked up the ninth, the longest hole in the course, 529 yards, par five, over the test. The wind's right behind it at the moment. Let's have another wee look down at the harbour there. And not a bad backdrop in the view down to the ninth. There's a wee sailing boat there to the left. Two up the tenth, 215 yards. That's a long way for me. Bunker sitting to the left, it's going to roll down from right to left. Uh, we're down the eleventh at Orkney, 298 yards into the wind. There's a marker post up there, but right in front there's a fair bit of rough and a ditch going across. Looks troublesome. 12 tee at Orkney, another par 5, 480 yards. Over the crest again, on the sweet round. Can't resist a view of that over the course. This is looking down at the 12th. As you come over it's sort of dropping down. And there's no views behind at all, look at this. There's a wee boat there. We'll have another look down to the harbour and over Kidwell. Just indulge myself. That's the 13th at Orkney. 143 yards. Par 3. Guarded by the bunkers. Into the wind, it's a real tough one. He's just about to put for a birdie here at the 13th hole. This to win the Orkney Thursday evening competition. Beautiful tee shot. Oh, he's left it just to the right. Unlucky. Look at this one for a lovely hole. That's the second attempt of par 3, 14th, 208 yards. Down the hill was a ditch running across there, a couple of bunkers either side. And you can never tire of this view. Just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That's the 15th, 278 yards, par 4. We've got the wind with us, so it's not that far away. And I'd just like to say I'll put an iron through the back of the green at 200 yards, unless that's the furthest I think I've ever ever. At the last bit, there's a road on the left hand side. Face the right. Look up the 16th. At Orney, it's a uh, 270. Right into the wind. 
and uh, fairway sloping left to right. Tough in the conditions. Well, this is the view at the 17th at Orkney. 305 yards, there's the marker post, about 30 yards further on. That's called the quarry. We could take the stunt golf ball Angela out for this one, but nah, not at all. We're too confident. Right, here we are at the final hole. The lovely Orkney Golf Club. Look at that for a view off the 18th tee. 288 yards, so it's going to dog leg round. So I've got to go to the left hand side of the bunkers and then come in. And I've got the cruise ship there. And there's that ferry right in the middle. That might be the one I was on today, coming back from Wolsey. But there's three different ones from the North Isles it comes from. So there's a bit of history for you, or geography, or local knowledge. Right, and here's the approach to the 18th. Uh, lovely clubhouse in the background there. Bunkers either side. Uh, slightly down the hill. We'll have a last look out to see there. Can't resist. That's cut wall just in the right hand side. Right, that's just me finished on the 18 at Orkney. Oh, that's an absolutely lovely course. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Cracking company with Andy and Chris, uh, both in the golf courses of Scotland page. Thanks very much for inviting me. It's been tremendous. Uh, great views from up there. You're up high. Right over the harbour, over Kirtwall. The course is in lovely condition, the greens are excellent. Uh, fairways like carpets, absolutely superb. Uh, absolutely love the course, it's great fun. It's one of these courses you can come and play time after time and never tire of it. And it's the adventure of getting here as well. Uh, so it's going to be a big 8.75 for me today. And uh, we're off to Stromness tomorrow. Ah, uh, again, what a cracking time here tonight. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you.